I popped off the passenger side rear. Same thing as last time. Took a pick under the, if you look, let me smooth this. You can see that the lip here stops here on this side, but on this side it goes all the way to the end. So you'll pick from this side, get under there, and then I drove it about a third of the way down. Boom, boom, boom. And then this side should just, you should be able to pick, put your fingers under and then pop that out. And then this will just disconnect. Then you just kind of break the little plasty weld that's down on this end. Um, but my idea here is to not completely tear apart and clean out all that rust. Um, it, at this point, it's not going to get any worse. So the rust has driven this out to not being straight anymore. And if you put it on a straight edge, you can see. Touches, 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 and then bows out again. So I'm going to take my awesome heat gun there. I'm going to warm this shit up. I'm going to flex it back. Um, I'm going to see if I can get it that way. Then I'll put it back in the, in the housing here, and then I'll test fit it and see if I like it. If that's good, that means I don't have to tear all this other stuff apart like I did that one. Um, this one, by the way, is more or less done. Threw a bunch of epoxy in there to make sure stuff doesn't shift around. Um, heat gun this to bend this tab back down. And uh, we'll see how that one fits. If it's close, I'll be good with that. But it's epoxied now, so it's kind of like, if it doesn't fit perfect, as long as the fucking screws go in there, it's better than what it was. Because <laughs> it was uh, pushed out pretty bad. So, on to this one.